If you own a banana like this, you might be interested to know that there is a low cost way of getting more feet. As you probably already know, there is a uh, way to interchange the feet on these machines just by releasing the little uh, clamp here and pulling off the foot as such. So this particular foot here is the uh, buttonhole attachment foot and you can easily interchange feet. The likes of this one here being a zip foot or a zipper foot can easily be attached. Now you might get a, a bit of a shock when you ring your banana dealer and they tell you what the price of these is. They're, they're reasonably expensive. Uh, they're very good quality, there's no doubting that. So the tidiest but more expensive option is definitely to buy the original banana parts. But there is an alternative. What you can do is you can buy these low cost adapters. Now that just clamps on the same way as the other presser feet do, the original bananas. So you clamp that adapter in there and you get yourself a standard uh, shank. Like these shanks here just work by a clip-on mechanism like so and you know you would find these sorts of uh, things on most other uh, sewing machines sort of um, you know your, your brothers and your uh, singers and whatnot so they're a fairly generic type snap-on foot and um, you then just install that like so just tighten this screw here like that and now you have access to all sorts of different types of presser foot snap-on type low-cost presser feet so if you want to go for an open toe type foot you don't need to go and buy the original banana part if you don't want to you buy the adapter the snap-on uh, shank here and the appropriate uh, foot that you're looking for like so a zip foot there so you can literally just choose what you want so if we went for instance for the open toe and you just place that with the little cut out there lining up with the little bar on the foot and you just go like so the little lever here clips it into place and there you go now I've got an open toe foot and it can guarantee you that uh, that combination there of the three items uh, would be a lot cheaper than buying the original banana foot. Now it's, it's not as um, elegant really as the original banana foot. I mean there's a little bit more bulk around here um, but I don't really think that's going to get in the way and you know really easy to interchange all sorts of feet so once you have the adapter and the shank you can then just have a bunch of interchangeable presser feet there and even the likes of a buttonhole type attachment there so we can just clip that on and away you go ready to do buttonholing the other option as well is you can actually buy uh, feet that have the shank built in. So this is a complete unit. So what you would do in that case is you would remove the shank here quite easily just with a flat screwdriver and attach your foot with the shank included. Sometimes it's easier actually to take the screw right out 
Ah, oh, managed to get it in there. Yeah. And then away you go with your presser foot, including shank. I'll just attach the snap on type shank there. Now this um, would work for most of the 800 series bananas, the older bananas, the likes of the 801, 807, 810 uh, and the likes. Yeah. We'll just put a standard foot, standard type foot on there. Okay, let's go on to zigzag there. Would pay to um, turn your machine when you've attached a foot for the first time is just to turn your machine over by hand just in case something's not quite lining up there. You don't want the needle uh, slamming down on any of this and breaking the needle. Try and avoid that. If you turn it over by hand, you can at least see that everything's in line. So there we go, that's just standard uh, zigzag type foot there. So let's try a uh, buttonhole foot here. Little thing I like to do first is just to thread the top thread down through. Saves doing it later and have, needing to get your tweezers out and pick the thread up. And then just clip the, clip the unit on. Righto, uh, manual buttonhole. So I've done a video on manual buttonholing. And if you take a wee look for that, uh, you'll see the process. But let's just go ahead here. Start on the first bar. Needle down, it's in the right hand position, it's where I want it. Turn 180, needle out, we'll do the wide bar for the bottom of the buttonhole, and then down the left side, and then the top bar, that'll be the right side actually, because we're upside down, so this is the top bar now. There we go with the buttonhole there. The top bars, the bars are a little bit wide. So it's, it's really just a matter of getting to know your machine and what setting to use for the width if you are doing manual buttonholes. Doesn't um, look all that great, but uh, that would take a little bit of tuning. Have a look at the uh, zip foot here. So let's install the zip foot. And be careful when you're doing this to make sure you're not still set on zigzag. You don't really, you, know, you definitely don't want um, any zigzagging going on here. And I'm using the needle centering positioner there. And I'm just turning the machine just to make sure that um, it's lining up with the right hand um, hole there. So you don't want the needle, you know, away, away out here like that. You want it to be quite close. So I'm using the needle positioner just to bring that needle in close there. That's the idea of the uh, zip foot. And um, and just to be 100% sure, I would turn the machine by hand just to make sure that you've got everything in order and it's, the needle's not going to clash with the foot. And away we go. Okay, and if we want to use the zip foot on the other side, you can just unclip, move it across, pick it back up again, and just double check that there's going to be no collision there again. And that looks all good. And away we go on the left side there.
you can see it's not quite lined up and so you can bring use your needle positioner to bring it across just one notch there and away we go okay and we've got plenty of options so it really opens up a whole lot of options uh, so, when, when, so once you have the two parts you really can just buy a whole bunch of these really low cost um, presser foot clip on presser feet you know the likes of this one here which is a uh, hemming foot or felling I think officially is uh, what the it's a felling foot that's a um, blind hemming type foot that looks like a uh, shearing would it be yeah shearing foot I think that one would be and this one's uh, button sewing so a little clamp there for buttons so you know get yourself a bunch of cheap uh, presser feet the shank and the little adapter and uh, save yourself some money yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that little um, money-saving tip there, and uh, thank you very much for watching.